It's a very sad day for the media here in South Australia. For the last time tonight, after 14 years, Rebecca Morse will hear this sound. Now, Morsi, it is your last night on the news desk. Lima and I spend 15 hours a week taking the mickey out of you, but away from the mics, I just wanted to say I have absolutely admired the way you've conducted yourself uh, after finding out that your job would be no longer. Now, I reckon of the last few weeks since you've known, the thing that summarises this the best for me was the fact that the kids, these are, these are kids from Prospect North Primary School, summarised it beautifully when they brought you into their school and they, they wanted to present you with their award of Legend of the Week. I want to start off by saying, Beck, when we heard Channel 10 was letting you go, your humility and character was admirable. It must have been tempting to feel bitter or angry about the situation, but you held your head high and accepted such a devastating outcome. For that reason, we want to award you with this week's PNTV Legend of the Week. That song. <laughs> that song. I just think the, oh the fact that the kids have even acknowledged yeah, how well you've was, handled yourself is admirable. Is definitely, and I said that to them, uh, has gone down as a as a career highlight. Uh, yeah, I um, I'm a bit uh, in shock still. It's a bit surreal. I think Monday it'll hit me at five o'clock. Um, I, at the moment I am just feeling very grateful, um, to have had 14 years in a, in a dream job. Um, I did a journalism degree, not knowing uh, where I would end up and, uh, to have that role, um, and to really have had time in the past month, uh, to reflect on, um, what that role means to South Australia and the people who've reached out to tell me that, um, I'm just looking back with gratitude at, um, the friends I've made, um, the opportunities I've had, I've got to travel to Canberra to cover leadership spills. I've um, been part of live bushfire coverage through Studio 10. Um, it's, just been, it's just been a dream. It's finished a little sooner than I wanted it to, but um, there are plenty of people out there who've been made redundant um, in the past six months in COVID. I have this job, which I'm really grateful for. Um, and I, um, How hard is it to get on the news desk tonight? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to go. I think for the first... And I, They've made our bloody news 90 minutes now. <laughs> so, God, still whinging for the last day. <laughs> so, I'll just hey, quit, a, quit after an hour. That's a, that's a great yeah, way to go out. out. Oh, I've had no. enough. I'm it's done. Enough. So I'll just um, just put my autopilot on for the first um, bit, um, and I don't know how I'll how I'll go at the end. Um, yeah, I'll probably I cry like a baby. Beck, you're, <laughs> you're, an, you're an absolute pro, and you'll deliver the news tonight uh, beautifully. Being publicly sacked... Yeah. It d- delivers its own unique set of issues you've got to work through. Yeah. Trust me, I know. <laughs> yeah, and, exactly, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I think you've handled yourself beautifully. It's very easy in the circumstances to throw all the toys mm. out of the pram yeah. and yell at people and stomp your feet, but you haven't done that. You've handled yourself with <clears throat> dignity and grace, as the kids pointed out there a little bit earlier. Oh, thank you. And, and uh, I have no <laughs> doubt that you've got an exciting year, five years, 10 years, yeah. 15 years ahead of you. Thank you. Uh, and I, so I want to thank, um, I've, I've received lots of messages through the socials and stuff. So I want to, um, through the socials and stuff, suddenly I've become my 17 year old daughter, but I just, um, (laughs) I've read every one of them and, um, they have, um, made me feel really positive about my future. Um, to my SAFM family now, I'm really relying on this job to be a success. So can you be really, (laughs) can we really nail this? Step it up from Monday. (laughs) Um, but, um, you, no, a couple of times I've um, I've come in and sort of broken down in tears in the morning meeting and you guys have picked me up, brought me coffee uh, and cakes um, and really rallied around me um, when I've been struggling a bit. Um, I have put on a brave face um, on the news, but, um, you know, I've had some quiet times where I've been very sad. <clears throat> So thank you. Yeah, I bet, mate. We know how much this job means to you and, mm. and we think you've done a wonderful job for 14 years. So yeah. really enjoy tonight. Take it in. Like, like when you walk in there today, look at all those things that have been a part of your life for so long and really, really enjoy it. Well, that's going to make it harder. <laughs> no, but... No. <laughs> I've got a suitcase. I've got a suitcase in there where I have to pack up all my jackets mm. and, you know, mm. it's... Um, I, was, I was talking to your husband earlier in the week and, and he was saying that the way you've handled yourself at home as, as well has been amazing and, and the kids. So I thought it would be fitting to ask your children what they thought. Oh, no. Oh, God. Mama, you were the best news re- reader in Adelaide. I am so proud of you and I love you so much. L- lots of knots and lots of love, Frankie. <laughs> Mama... Your humility and strength is inspiring. And even after you lost your job, you keep having a positive outlook on the future. 
You always do what's best for us and you're the best mum ever. I will always support you through losses and whatever hardships you go through. I love you to the moon and back from Miller. Hi Mama, it's Grace here. Just wanted to let you know how much we all admire you and everything you've done over your last 14 years uh, working at 10. I don't remember a day when you weren't a newsreader. And I mean, I don't remember it, but I've seen it in photos <laughs> that day when I was two, I think. <laughs> and um, I was kissing the TV screen because you were on it. And it's gonna be weird not seeing you in there, but it's also gonna be great seeing you at home, I think. <laughs> and trying lots of uh, interesting meals that you cook. <laughs> that should be oh. fun. Uh, you've been really inspirational through this whole process of finding out about losing your job and then having everyone else find out the exact same day. And then in all the weeks following, everyone's asking you, how are you going? And you have to keep repeating yourself, saying the same thing. And then you go to work day in, day out, knowing um, the end consequence, but you still put in your best work and make the most of what you have left. And also give up your days off to go and work. And we're really proud of everything that you've achieved in your life. And you should be really proud of yourself as well. And this isn't um, a loss or a failure. This is just the start of a new chapter in your life. So yeah, love you. Wish you all the best. Bye. Ooh, that sounded gross. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that makes me so proud of my kids. Mm, well done. It makes me realise mm. you know, that's the most important job that I've done if I've raised them to be able to say stuff like that. Yeah, that was beautiful. Thank you. Mate, enjoy tonight. <laughs> Have fun. Thank you. And to all the other South Australians out there, we know that it's been very, very tough. And uh, over the next few weeks, we're going to do what we can on SAFM to highlight any jobs that are available. Earlier on today, we had uh, can someone... Can me first dibs? With, with 400 <laughs> jobs. <laughs> and, and as a state, we really just need to push on and be super tough. Mm. So anyone that's going through a bit of a rough yeah. patch at the moment, you know, like Beck, we feel for you and, and we wish you the best of luck and things will get better. Just keep pushing mm. on. Absolutely. And I, I'm sorry, I should quickly point out that um, there are many more people than me, uh, good people, talented people, who for their no, no fault of their own are also finishing off tonight at 10. I think there's about 20 of us. Um, so my thoughts are with um, all of them uh, and their families uh, tonight as well.